this is Mario Central reporting to you live here in the character selection screen of Mario Kart Super Circuit where we are going to choose DK. I actually really like DK in this game. I find him pretty good. And if you press the L and R buttons, you can actually switch to the Super Mario Kart versions of the cups. I like this. This is very clever. I, I couldn't believe they put this uh, the tracks from the first game in here. I was I was astounded because I mean, we've seen how much now it's used in every single Mario Kart, you always have those retro tracks. But this was the first one to actually do that, it incorporated all of the first game, and it's just like, wow. How come a lot of people don't talk about this game? It is really a fantastic game, I think. I mean, just think about it, no other Mario Kart has ever included 40 tracks. Just think about that, 40, wow. I mean, yeah, I get, I get it, they're not as, you know, splendiferous, <laughs> or... Uh, as great as the 3D courses, but they're damn good still, and I think it's just incredible that they put 40 in here. I mean, my goodness. Ha ha! And if you're looking for that nostalgia factor, too, I mean, look no, no further. This game provides it all. I just This game's perfect for anybody, in my opinion. It just it suits everybody. The controls take a little bit time to get used to, but in my opinion, again, you should play this on the Game Boy, because it's more easier to control with the control pad than the uh, control stick. <laughs> I have a tougher time, actually. But let's just keep this up. That was actually pretty... I did not think I was going to hit Yoshi there. Alright, can I get something? Oh, I wanted a red shell, but this will do. Uh, let me get that coin, and now I finish. Perfect. 30 coins. I just... My rule is for this game, I always like to try to get a minimum of 30. If I can't get to 30, like if I get bombarded, per se, then I'll try to go for 20 at least. If I don't get that, then oh boy. <laughs> it's not going to end up as a good ranking. Let's just say that much. Here we get the Donut Plains 1, and uh, these tracks are a bit more easier to navigate in the uh, GBA versions, yes. In Super Mario Kart, they're a little bit more trickier, and here it's a bit more because, easier because, uh, it's, you know, it's just so much more, it's so much more, uh, laying out, and you can really, especially watching it on this big screen, I mean, wow, you can really navigate here. Well, there's someone behind me, I don't like that, and that's why it's Yoshi again! who for some reason can never leave me alone, but thank goodness I hit him in a puddle of water. He deserved it. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, we gotta catch up the first move, Luigi. This is the good thing about, this is the only thing about this game is that if you hit people, you actually lose coins. That was perfect timing. So you got be very careful when you're approaching people. In fact, I'm just gonna cut across here and do my stuff. Oh yeah, 18 coins, not bad. Oh, 23, all right, <laughs> I'm on fire now. Okay, let's just be careful of Bowser. He's catching up pretty quickly. My goodness. The speed characters in here really do are difficult. I mean, even though they get hit, they bounce back really fast. I mean, they may take a while to start up, but because of their amazing speed, they do get in the match pretty darn quickly. Very because of how fast they are. I mean, they're just so much more quicker than the other guys. Let's just oh god, Bowser's right behind me. Well, you know what, Bowser? Let me let me hold this out for a little bit longer. If he passes me, then I use the red shell. Do, 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 do. This is so relaxing. I love this music. Oh god, that's not good. Use your red shell, buddy, and finish. What, Yoshi? Oh boy, where did he come from? Whoa, Yoshi, out of nowhere. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing too. He did. He's like, oh, I see what he's doing. He's gonna use a red shell, and then I can take the lead. Darn it! If only I didn't make that bad turn. <laughs> oh man, of course that would happen right before I finish, I'd take a bad turn, oh man. You know what the funny thing is, I, I like the ghost stages in here, and just as I got done saying that, right? Yep, that's of course what happens. I like the ghost stages in here, I actually really do because, uh, whoa, I just keep crashing into those. I find they're a bit more easier to navigate in here, and I just, I like the simplicity of it, it works. And there's a lot of coins to get in these places, because you always find these trail of coins, and that is going to be... Excuse me, how did that happen? And that wasn't useful. Um, how did that backfire? I had three red shells. He did not have anything. That does not make sense. Um, game? What was that? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I... Wow, I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised, actually. I wonder, did he have a star? No, I didn't see him. I don't know, that was very weird. 
All right, I got one more lap to make up. All right, this will help me. Let me just aim it. There we go. Now I just need this to move out of the way. And now I just got to get Yoshi. Oh, that's not going to really help. All right, here, here, here. let me get rid of it. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to get an item. Darn. Okay, well, Yoshi won this time. Basically means I got to get first in the next round. But again, it's coming up to one of my better courses because I'm actually very good at the next one. Oh, well, it was all because of that first lap, if I didn't take that fall. I was trying to turn, but for some reason, I just kept going into the same spot. That's okay. And also, the timing for the boost, uh, you want to... Right there. There it is. Or you want to press A, like, right around there to time it better. I'm actually pretty good at this one. I usually never lose. Even when it came to the original, I was pretty darn good at this one. Good? Okay, perfect. <laughs> I gotta get Yoshi as far back as possible, because, I mean, all I have to do is finish him first, but I still would like him to not be anywhere near second, <laughs> just to help me out even a little bit more. Gotta get those coins there. You actually can get, I think, probably around 40 coins here. I never have a tough time, because items won't necessarily hit you that much, because they always end up going into this lava, so, I mean, not bad, right? And again, what's so good about this game is that how simple the items are. I just really like, uh... How few items there are. I mean, it's just the very simple ones. Red shells, star man, three green shells, three red shells, boo, a lightning bolt. And the lightning bolt does not appear that often, which is pretty good. I, I really do like the... I, I like the fairness of this game. You don't... You won't get bombarded too much. It will happen from time to time. You can't prevent that. But it's pretty fair, most of all. The most times you're going to lose is because you end up running into a wall. Because, well, this game does take a learning curve. I will admit that. I, I, it's always difficult to do at first because stuff like that happens where I fall into a pool of lava while getting struck by lightning. That's not a good feeling. <laughs> but that's something I really like this Mario Kart with. I would even go as far as to say that this is probably... Mm, I'd say this would probably be my number three favorite or two favorite. But I, considering I've never played Mario Kart 7 yet, so I'm leaving that out of the equation. But there we go, we finished with 43 coins, and that does it. We have finished first once again, very narrowly, might I add. Wow, I think we improved a little bit, right? We got 30 points this time instead of 29. Yeah, buddy, improvement, just like Mario Kart Double Dash. This is what talking and playing at the same time does do, because it's funny, I practiced this, and I got first every single time. And I got a A ranks. I don't, oh well, that's what talking and, and playing does to you. Just totally, you lose focus. But that is it for this one. Join me next week as we take on the flower cups of each respective game. This is Mario Central, signing off.